Hey you guys! I'm Robin, this is Southern Latitudes, and um, it's Mother's Day weekend, and I have the best husband, and um, we we did our, we've been starting our workout routine and exercising again, uh, like we used to do pre-COVID, and then we had breakfast, and I was like, you know what, I really, really want to get this fence painted, because it's not getting any cooler in Florida. I'm in Zone 9B in East Central Florida, and um, I put a little climbing rose over there, and then also a peppercorn, Piper Nigem is a scientific name. I have those in place already, and I was thinking they're just going to start taking off and growing and having a good time out in the summer heat. And um, and you know what I'm going to need? It, you know, I'll be behind the curve if I don't start. So I need to go get some paint. I'm not endorsed. I wish I was endorsed by Bear. Um, Bear, if you're listening, I would love to be endorsed by your products, uh, your company. So um, anyhow, this is just the middle road. It wasn't low grade or the super high grade. Uh, wood stain does really well for um, for outdoors and on you know this scenario. Um, also, uh, well, I don't know if you could see it, but I bought two little counter um, colors because we're gonna do a bit of a what do they call it? Like a white whitewash, but only it's not white. Hold on, let me get the colors. So these will be my accent colors and you know just kind of dry brushed on there. So we're going to give it that keysy kind of old feel but uh, I want you to feel like you're in Key West when you come back here. So um, I'm going to get started. I'll show you a little bit as we go along and then um, as we start bringing the fun colors in uh, I will go ahead and um, maybe do a little bit of a time lapse. So here you go. Here's the um, the garden fence, at least side number one. Uh, we checked on prices. Price is still outrageous. I don't know if you are aware of this, if you haven't been buying lumber in a while, but you know, what used to be, you know, four, maybe $9 tops is now a $14 four by four. It's ridiculous. The costs have gone up so badly. And uh, at least in Florida, I checked today, it was nine something for no, excuse me. Let me repeat that. I checked today and it was 14 something per 4x4 four four at the Home Depot in my area. So anyhow, we're instead of worrying about the coop because they are predicting wood prices to come down this summer. So we'll just do the coop in the heat as much as I don't want to. But we'll do the coop in the heat. So um, I'm going to protect this fence. Eventually it'll run along the back there and maybe some of the side will leave the front open for now. And, um, and just because it's sitting here saying, hello, this is my chocolate cherry sunflower. So uh, I love it. And it's coming along. I've got another bigger one over um, on the trellis. I, this whole garden is yet to be revamped. But I, you know, we're having that unseasonably now low weather. You know, we five days ago we were setting record highs, and today we're actually um, not a record low, but we are not even going up to 80 or just at 80. This is the last cool step that we'll have until summer's over. So I'm gonna, you know, do what I can tonight and tomorrow, like for 24 hours, and get that fence painted and pretty the way I want it. Okay, happy Mother's Day to all you ladies out there. If you're mamas, congratulations. Thank you for all your hard work in raising up your children.
the tail end of painting. Just kind of getting the little inner slat part and the back slat on this last uh, section. And I'm so filled with joy. I cannot even express to you how much joy one can of paint has really brought to my day. It, of course, it's more than a can of paint, but y'all, th this is so beautiful to me. When I think of beautiful gardens all around the world, I, I don't care if you're talking about English cottage gardens, I'm not, it, it doesn't matter to me what country or whatever, it, it always seems to be New Zealand, Australia, you know, I'm just, I'm wherever it is, I see beautiful white picket fences and gardens. And I've always been so envious of that. And uh, and I didn't even really realize that, but I, I was just, when we saw this, I was like, that's so cute. And Jack got it for me. And then I've been dreaming of painting it and, and making it all cute, kind of like Key West. And I'm just sitting here and I'm going, I just did not realize how much this incorporated to my dreams of my perfect garden. And here it is coming, it's coming to fruition. And it's just making me just so joyful. I, I can't even stand it. I'm just so happy to be getting this little cute white picket fence done and um, eventually a coop too. But, oh, and I haven't made any mention of this on the channel before, but, um, and it's not a pity party at all. But uh, about five weeks ago, Buddy and I had a collision. And he ran into me and it snapped my jaw shut. And I didn't think much of it other than it gave me instant headache. And I figured, I think I came in the house and I told Jack, I, I probably got some sort of concussion going on. But, you know, you don't want to make it bigger than it is. And uh, so, and the next morning I felt like I was fine. No big deal. So, I, you know, life goes on, right? I had a run in with the dog, so what? Well, I went to the dentist, got my teeth cleaned, and they discovered I had a fractured tooth. And Got that all set up, and on um, Monday, last Monday, uh, we had to put a nice crown in there. <laughs> and he was trying to figure out, we're trying to remember, because honestly, I kind of forgot about Buddy, and I didn't consider it to be that traumatic. But the dentist was like, I know you've had some serious trauma. And then I remembered the snapping of the jaw, and I was like, you know, check my teeth, and then I was like, thank goodness I didn't bite my tongue off or pieces of it and uh, so we figured that was part of the trauma of getting um, having a head collision with him and then the other thing is I'd been having numbness down my arms and it's been kind of difficult to sleep at night and just be motivated for a lot of things but yesterday uh, I had a, it's it's not real popularly known, but it's called craniosacral therapy. And uh, my good friend does it. And so she did an adjustment. We work mostly on um, my head and neck. And it's just been amazing because my C1 vertebrae was jammed up into the base of my skull. And uh, and I've just been kind of suffering through, thinking I was doing okay, but not great, but okay. And I just, I can't even believe it. She straightened all that out, and I feel 
so so energetic and so wonderful and so I'm overjoyed I slept well I don't have numbness in my hands my tooth is fixed I got my beautiful white picket fence I I'm just I'm so grateful I'm so grateful to my Savior and God for just giving me such a beautiful life and caring for me and taking care of me and um, and it's Mother's Day and I just I don't know maybe it's the mother and me feeling awfully sentimental but I'm just so thankful for all my blessings so and tomorrow we're gonna have a nice family day and I'm gonna take them out here and show uh, my other kids who've been on vacation I'm gonna show them my beautiful white picket fence so anyhow whew, I made through it without crying I thought I was really gonna cry <laughs> Here you go. This is it. Finished in white, but not with uh, sort of a, a, a patina or a distressed wood look. It's uh, something I plan to do with the other two colors here on the next step. But I'm going to do a little research on the computer, practice. I have a practice board. And so I'm going to practice that technique a little bit, which will probably be the last of the light. And then, you know, tomorrow's Mother's Day, so maybe Monday I'll get around to doing that little um, antiquing look, if you will, on my picket fence.